morning, ESM. I'm Elena, and today I'll be talking to you about some of the best and worst Mother's Day gifts to buy for Mother's Day. More on this after news. A company appointed panel through Facebook ruled that Trump's ban will be upheld because of it being justified at the time, but stated that they will reassess and make the final decision six months from now. Donald Trump was originally banned from Facebook on January 7th. Their choice was made after stating he created an environment where a serious risk of violence was possible. The panel said the ongoing risk justified the move. Wednesday, two American friends, Lee Elder and Gabrielle Jorth, was convicted and sentenced to life in prison for slaying a police officer in a small-time drug deal gone bad in Italy. The jury of the two judges and six civilians deliberated for more than 12 hours being delivered the verdicts. Handling the American it Italy's most severe sentences, the two were found guilty of all charges, which included homicide, attempted extortion, and assault. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Seniors who ordered a Senior Variety Show t-shirt needs to pick them up in Mrs. Kwanis' room in B36. Join us for a Chipotle fundraiser to support the class of 2022 this Saturday, May 8th, between 4, 5 p.m. and 9 p.m. Tell the cashier you're supporting the class of 2022. Who's ready to live stream Spartan Stage's 2021 musical, Breaking Up is Hard to Do? Stream live on May 12th and 13th at 7 p.m. Stream live on May 15th at 2 p.m. Streaming passes are $4 at esmchs.booktix.com. Theater happens here. So, for those of you that don't know, Mother's Day is this Sunday. And I wanted to Google some of the best and worst gifts to get your mother for Mother's Day. And if you're anything like my mom, you know, buying a gift for Mother's Day can be especially challenging. Big challenge. So uh, to start off with some of the worst gifts for Mother's Day, I found wrinkle cream. Now this one is pretty self-explanatory. You don't want to get your mom wrinkle cream. That just shows you think she's old. And that's definitely a bad gift. Next up, we have cleaning supplies, which I feel like most moms are always cleaning, and that's definitely not a good gift. And I also found the third worst thing is definitely don't get your mom nothing. Getting nothing for your mom just shows you're too lazy to buy a gift and you don't care for Mother's Day. After weather, I'll be sharing some awesome gifts that you should get your mom for Mother's Day. So I found a lot of good gifts to get your mom for Mother's Day and my favorite out of all these gifts had to be the tile mat trackers. Now these are tiny trackers that you can place on your phone or keys if you lose them and you sync them up with your phone so say you lost your keys in your house this will tell you where they are which I think is really great and Mr. Ferris actually has one of these himself. And I also found personalized gifts are really special and you can tell you put thought into them. 
Sites such as Etsy allow you to make a personalized bracelet or cutting board with a loved one's handwriting, which I think is really meaningful. Other great grips I found include air fryers, which I feel like you can pull anything in an air fryer and it'll taste good. There is also weighted blankets and a personalized birthstone necklace. More after sports. varsity volleyball team earned all league honors in its very first year of varsity competition. First team all league members were senior Aiden Finnerty, senior Nick Brown, senior Devin Moscato Buffalo, and sophomore Cole Thomas. Second team all league members were senior Sean Finnerty, senior Will D'Agostino, and junior Aiden Betts. Senior Jimmy Ferns received all league honorable mention. Congrats to all the eight players. The girls' softball team won 15-0 against Cortland last night. Morgan Ransom pitched a perfect game. Boys lacrosse won against Auburn last night 7-2. All seven goals were scored by Gavin Hotelling, and the boys improved to 2-0 record. And the girls' lacrosse team lost 19-2. In upcoming games, the baseball team plays at Central Square today and plays at home against Central Square tomorrow in their fourth consecutive game this week. The boys' tennis team plays at Cortland, and the wrestling team has a match at Auburn. And I'm John, New York Sports. So, I hope you found all of these gifts helpful for Mother's Day. And like I said, some websites, you can find all of these on Amazon and Etsy. They'll have all of the gifts. And I hope everyone here at the morning show and you guys all have an amazing Mother's Day and happy Friday. For me and everyone here, have an amazing day.